Right now, KDKL Radio is talking to the one and only B.B. King. Welcome to the Mile High City. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Well, it's nice to have you here. Tell us where you're playing and uh, where we can see you. Well, I'm out at the warehouse um, tonight through Sunday night. And, of course, with uh, Gene Harris, whom I think happened to be uh, one of the finest in jazz. And me and my group, we supply in the blues. and We think it's a good show. Hey, that sounds great. What times can we uh, catch you? Uh, the first show you just start, I think, about 9, usually about 9. The second, about... Uh, but if you come earlier than that, it's better, because if the crowd be like it was last night, you get a good seat if you come a little earlier. You've got a lot of reaction so far, huh? Yes, it's been very good. It's, um, you know, kind of like coming home. <laughs> That's great. We've been playing your albums for quite a while, and we hear your voices in commercials, and <laughs> we hear you all over the place. Uh, how many albums have you put out? 57. In fact, just, just made 58. I just got to, um, well, my first production, just first one that I produced, we just finished it about, um, about a week ago. It should be released uh, September 15th, and it's titled, in case you'd like to know, Lucille Talks Back. <laughs> well, that's great. I know uh, Lucille has quite a background there. Uh, tell us about her or it. or. <laughs> well, Lucille is my guitar. Uh, I almost lost my life trying to save it in a fire back in 49. And, of course, uh, since that time, I've always called it Lucille. By the way, the, the uh, fire was caused by two guys fighting, and uh, they was fighting about a lady, and we learned that the lady's name was Lucille. I never did meet her, but I named my guitar Lucille to remind me not to do anything silly like that again. So that's why I call it Lucille, and it's, I think, today maybe known a little bit better than I. <laughs> well, that's that's great. Where will you uh, be going after you leave Denver? When I leave Denver, I go to Las Vegas. I, I go to the Las Vegas Hilton for a month. Mm -hmm. yeah, I imagine you're booked out really quite, you know, quite a ways ahead of time. Well, usually we stay booked about a year in advance. We are booked now through parts of 76 already. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I can um, keep some parts of it open because I haven't had but two months off in 29 years, and I want to take a little time off. And well, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> Do you notice any uh, changes in music or jazz these days as to the response or the type of music that you're playing? Well, yes, it's been changed um, from the very beginning, from early 50s, in other words, when rock and roll began, and it's continued to change through the years. And, in fact, I'm influenced by some of it, but I try to keep the basic, the basic blues part of it I try to hold on to, but I'm influenced by the many different styles of music that are being played, and um, there's a big change, I think, big change, and I think it will forever change. Uh, hopefully that it will be for the better, though. As long as they keep buying your records, though, that's. Uh... Well, yes, <laughs> I, I I want that to happen. Uh, I work hard to try and you know try to get something that I hope people will like. But uh, you still got to be true to yourself a little bit too. You still got to uh, do what you think is is true you, if that's a word. Um, I like to sell records uh, I like to entertain but I like to do what I think is my best that's what's important doing what you really enjoy yes. well I enjoy my work I enjoy it very much really do well that's great it's nice uh, talking to you you will be at the warehouse through uh, when now Sunday through Sunday night yes Sunday night is the last night and we're doing two shows usually daily okay well we'll come down and catch you thank you for coming down thank you it's a pleasure nice talking to you